Welcome to this session friends. In this session we are going to discuss on assigning static hostname to Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS 7 instance. By default in Amazon Linux instances the hostname is not static. The hostname consists private IP of the instance and default hostname is managed by cloud init scripts. If you haven't heard about cloud init scripts, I will explain a little bit in a technical session. Uh, in case we have to assign static hostname, we have to do a couple of changes. First one, in the etc cloud slash cloud dot cfg file, we have to add preserve underscore hostname colon true entry. What it means, we are telling cloud init that uh, we want to preserve hostnames. And uh, after that, uh, we have to update the hostname in etc hostname file then uh, updating etc host file so uh, that's basically local database file that reboot server so that's simple friends uh, let's begin technical session okay first uh, let's log into amazon instance this is the instance ip i'm logging in as a default user which is ec2 user i have already set it up my uh, public key on uh, this instance so if you want to see how I did this setup you can refer the previous videos so let me elevate my privilege because I need to become root to uh, change the host name as I said uh, first thing is uh, changing the cloud in it so I am doing vi on etc cloud slash cloud dot cfg file here I am appending this here I am adding my entry so skip I this will be true ok so entry is there now ok let's maintain space because uh, this is strict on formatting because if you see here every record code space between so I will stick with space ok this is done uh, let me discuss a little bit about cloud in it basically on the virtual instances cloud in it is a script which manage the uh, instance boot and uh, the scripts which need to be run when instance boots so this file is again uh, delivered by cloud in it scripts let me show you I'm just querying this file like which package it's cloud in it package and uh, let me give you a little bit idea about this package you see this is set of init scripts for cloud instances it's not generally cloud uh, you can use cloud init package on your VMware so the best term would be uh, on virtual instances so you can download uh, this package if you want to play with this package on uh, VMware that's up to you okay so first bit is done we have updated uh, persistent host name to in uh, cloud init file or cloud config file next step I have to modify etc hostname file so we miss not there this is very limited instance let me do vi right now this is the hostname I'm deleting it I want to name it AWS slab server then I have to update my etc host that's not uh, a mandatory thing but it's best practice to keep updated hostname here basically no need to update this one Amazon says uh, you have to update here you have to replace local host entry with the actual hostname there is no need to. okay so this bit is done one thing you can do you can add your private IP in uh, host file let's do that I'm not using FQDN name uh, that's for testing only so this bit is done so friends let's reboot the server doing init 6 so reboot will couple of seconds I will post this video okay so friends server is rebooted uh, and I just logged on to server if you see now host name is AWS lab server earlier it was sorry earlier it was this private IP IP dash uh, the private IP of this instance so friends our host name is changed 
so you can verify using hostname command or with uname so this is hostname here this is hostname here so friends our hostname is updated so that's very easy only thing uh, cloud init scripts managed hostname so if we say preserve hostname then it preserve the hostname whatever in your etc hostname file so thanks for watching this video friends and uh, if you have any query or any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thanks a lot bye bye